Aloha Hugh O'Reilly with Berkshire Hathaway and this is uh, my June e-letter and I was um, have gotten to know some new neighbors next door to me here in the Masters uh, Stephanie and Jesse uh, Van Box down there from Wisconsin and they're bought a new home and they're renovating it and I've gone over and been talking with them it turns out that's what they do he is a professional builder back in Wisconsin builds beautiful custom homes and they do renovations and I thought what a great topic um, to interview Stephanie because she does a lot of the interior design work and ask her specifically what are five things that if you were interested in purchasing some a property condo or a home um, what are you looking for so that it, it makes some sense to go ahead and put the investment the time and energy into doing something and and find out so our interview today is uh, coming up shortly and uh, I'm going to be talking to Stephanie and we'll get some great information to share all right talk to you soon Aloha, Stephanie Hugh here, and um, thank you for taking some time out of your busy day because you're in the midst of renovations, and that's what I want to talk about today with my, uh, my readers about some tips, some things to look forward, four or five ideas about a condo home that you think are really critical they should look for, or maybe something that they should really see and avoid. So have at it. Okay, so uh, tips that I would say when you're looking for a condo or a home that you're looking to possibly renovate, um, I would look at the bones of the community as a whole. What kind of amenities are there? Um, I would look at, um, you know, in a condo community, I like to see are other people updating their units? Are they all, you know, kind of staying dated? Are there sales within that community? The unit itself, I'm looking for the bones, which I know is a, it's a pretty basic term that everybody says, but for me, what that means is I'm looking at the actual layout of the property of the home, the floor plan. I'm looking at load bearing walls and what I can move if mm -hmm. I want to get that in depth, how I could open it up and modernize the, the property. Right. Um, I'm looking for uh, things that, um, number one is location, which I know is very commonly heard, but that is something that I, I live by with every property, especially in Maui, you have to have a view yep. and, if, you know, because that no matter what you have, that's going to always help retain your value uh, of your property. Great. That, well, you know, that idea of starting with the outside a bigger picture, because I think people tend to say, oh, well, here's a home that may not. My neighbors live here, I'll go renovate it. But that's a great, so you're starting with the macro and then you start working down to the micro. So okay, right. so you found the right property, you've got a great view, you see that there's some renovations going on. So now you go into the home. What are you looking for once you walk through the front door? When I walk through the front door, I'm looking for the overall feeling of the home itself. I'm looking for, can we open it up? Can, you know, so it has the, that wide open space for families to gather. Can we have a good, nice, large kitchen for, for family parties or whatever? I'm, I'm thinking of a client in, in mind or a family in mind and how they will actually function and live in that property. So... That's well, what I'm you having four daughters, I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So when I bought my two bedroom condo, right, you know, you, you really have to think, well, how will you function? So yeah. when I renovate and I put new, for example, right now, we have just decided to redo the, the kitchen and all of that. So as part of that, I'm going to, you know, build storage back into this unit where, um, you know, I think in smaller spaces, it's very important to, to utilize every last inch of space with storage and just little things that maybe the average person isn't going to have in, in their condo or think about. So when we renovate, we try to think of those things when we're tearing walls down and putting new cabinetry in and, right. and things like that. Now, nice. I've, I've had a chance to walk through your renovation and you explained to me some of the things that you have done. And in my opinion, Boy, you left no stone unturned. I mean, you have replaced the sliding doors, the windows. Um, I mean, what, where do you, how do you determine where, how much and you think you should put into it? And again, is it that feeling I'm going to, you yeah. know, I may set a new standard, but I'm going to take it out and make sure someone walks in and they go, wow, is that right. what you're after? I, I mean, I like to present a 
turnkey product for somebody. So right. I, I often will take our project and I renovate it like I'm going to live there truthfully. So it's kind of to my standard of how I would like it. I always try to put in something that is a little bit cutting edge. Um, no matter if I'm doing a high end renovation or if we have purchased a, you know, maybe a lower budget property, um, and then we're going, we know we're going to renovate it and resell it. I always try to put something in there, for example, like high end counters that maybe someone in that price point couldn't afford or they wouldn't typically right. see in their price point. So, um, in this particular renovation, there is there it, it's pretty much you know we started at a and now we're at z like we just kind of went for it because yeah. i feel like i want to present a turnkey project to somebody that they're really going to love and they're not going to have to worry about renovating on the islands you know is not easy, easy. and that's right. that's a good point here because most people are, are aren't living here they're from afar so if they thinking about a project here Oh, why don't we just buy this one and, and it's done. We can just enjoy it and have it for years and years and years and it's going to look great. What are maybe some, one thing, last point here is something that, boy, you, you, as soon as you see it, you turn around, you walk out the door, you don't know, this is not appropriate. Oh. <laughs> Anything? Um, well, if it has a horrible view, I will walk right out the door. Okay. If it, honestly, like if there's no, if, if there's no view or no yard or there's, um, you know, if there's, if, if there's just kind of something off and funky to the property, I will, I won't even consider it. Okay. Um, so, but I would say, I would say the view is number, I mean, for, for Maui specific, obviously I, I do properties in other areas as well, but for the island specific, um, it's, it's, it really is your view is so important. So. Yeah. I, and I agree. Uh, real estate, number one thing is view. Second thing is proximity to the ocean. You know, how close right. is the ocean so you can get to it? Can you walk there or is it an easy, easy ride so you don't have to jump in the right. car? So those, I, will those say, I will say during quarantine, something that I have learned to appreciate that I will now take into consideration when I'm looking for property is, is truthfully the proximity of living on a golf course mm -hmm. that, you know, during quarantine, and I know you can appreciate this, it was so... <laughs> nice to be able to go walk the golf course and have that air right and then just that feeling of extra yard well, it's like that, a park it's like right. having a park next door and and right. and everybody uses it our whole neighborhood uses it early morning late evening when the golfers aren't there and it's safe to be out on and i see people riding their bikes and stuff so you know the golf course is pretty flexible about letting us be on there yeah and Maybe. so that was for me. This is awesome because you actually surprised me that I thought we'd talk more about this or that and you've taken what I like I always like the big macro. I like to work it down. And it's really um, philosophical ideas that are, I think are, because are, you can interpret those. You can say, okay, yeah. And the idea yeah. of creating something special. So thank you. You're I appreciate sweet. it. You're sweet. Thanks. I always, you never know where I'm going to come from, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with your renovation. And uh, we'll let people know how it all turns out. Maybe we'll take some pictures and post them on one of my sites. I think you'll be surprised. Sounds I good. Thank you. All right. Thank you. You take care. Yep. Bye. -bye. Bye.